Hello everyone and welcome to this year's devotional entitled Living Through Crisis. The devotion for today, February 6th, is entitled Stronger Together and it's written by Gregory A. Carroll. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 12 says, And though one can overpower him who is alone, two can resist him. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Elijah opens his inbox to find a message from Jezebel essentially saying, you're dead in 24 hours. This mighty prophet who has just summoned fire from heaven and dried up its reservoirs so it would not rain now feels the paralyzing effect of fear. The murderous threat is credible. As queen, Jezebel has the means and the mind to execute it. Without any directive from God, Elijah's chosen recourse is to run, thus allowing his fear to overtake his faith. When fear is given first place, fallacy becomes the runner-up. This fact is demonstrated when the once mighty man of faith, now reduced to a cowering refugee, abandons his servant, his only means of human support. The Bible then uses a redundant double pronoun. He himself went alone to the wilderness of all places. From here, things deteriorate rapidly for the prophet until God intervenes by sending the very thing he has relinquished, support. In times of crisis, isolating ourselves when trusted human support is what is needed is certainly a lapse in judgment. Remind yourself today that it is okay to need that human connection because a pretense of strength is far worse than the manifestation of weakness. In these unprecedented times, resist the alluring temptation to go alone. Embrace the company and counsel of the godly people the Savior has strategically placed in your life. And though one can overpower him who is alone, Two can resist him. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, remember to have hope when in crisis.